So what is it that's so special about this boat for you? Well, I think she's pretty unique. Her ability to deal with anything the sea can throw at her, but equally to, to, to go inland and inshore and, and, and that sort of thing. She wasn't built as a racing yacht, absolutely, but she was she was built very specifically to, to do those things, to deal with the North Sea. They used to, they used to beach her on the North Sea coast and up the Humber and, and that sort of thing. So her incredible versatility, I think, is... is is the thing. She holds her own in, 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 in the gaff racing fleet and yet we can go places that most people can't which is nice if you get to a crowded anchorage uh, you can just through the anchorage and keep going upstream until there's nobody left. And, then... and is she a one-off? Yeah but a, a, a development of, of, of the canoe yawls. The canoe yawls were, was, a, was a type of boat developed in the late 1800s by a number by a number of people Albert Strange, George Holmes being to name to name but a couple and they were designed not for wealthy people for you know moderate expenditure to get people boating and and that sort of thing and and Snippet really is is just a grown up one of them most of the, the early ones were all open boats you know sort of 18 20 foot open boats but still with the oil rig and, and the center plate and all that sort of thing and and slowly they got bigger and, and, and eventually yes yeah, Snippet was probably the, 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 the grown up of the bunch. As a naval architect what have you learned from this boat? Simplicity I think. Boats are getting more complicated and more complicated all the time particularly I mean I, most of my work is traditional and classic however modern owners of classic vessels still have this desire to make their boats more and more complicated and lose lose the original simplicity of the things. And that's what Snippet is, and, and I think she's a, she's a lesson to all modern sailors, really, about how simple things can be. But when you say they want to make them more complicated, yeah. what do you mean? With technology and with, with, with electronics and with uh, modern rigging solutions and hydraulics and, and electric winches and, and that sort of thing. Block and tackles work. I have, I have a depth gauge on here, that's it don't have any other electronics apart from the VHF. I find that quite refreshing these days. Occasionally we work with some big classics and occasionally we do get to do them in the very traditional way where everything's still block and tackle and that sort of thing. But nine times out of ten these days, all the big restorations, all the restorations get winches, very often electric winches put on and so and so the, the, the running rigging gets simplified because you don't need block and tackle so we just work it on the winch. And it's I, you see why you see why it's done, they can run with less crew and that sort of thing, but it but it but it's a little bit of a shame. And of course everyone these days has all the electronics, all the communications, all the navigation, all the all the she, she's 28 feet on deck, about 35 feet over spars, uh, about 4 tons, 8 foot 6 beam, 2 foot 6 draft with the plate up and about 6 foot with the plate down. You're rigged and, and much as she was, there's no, she has no running backstays, everything is she's very simple to sail. So no running backstays to worry about, the mizzen pretty well looks after itself. And, uh, and, and, and one of the great things about these canoe yules is that they sail very easily under, under just jib and mizzen if the wind gets up. You can heave to under jib and mizzen and do anything you like with the mainsail while you're, while, while you're sitting there. She was designed by a chap called George Holmes on the, on the Humber. And this was George's own boat. Um, he designed it for himself and he owned it for 30 years. And was it a boat like this that you were looking for? Yeah, predominantly I was looking for a for a for a yawl rig. I was looking for a relatively shallow draft to be able to do creeks and rivers and things. We were looking for something with a relatively large cock and and snippet really ticks all of those boxes. With the centre plate up, she only draws two foot six, which really is not very much. And she's as much at home out at sea. I mean, she was built for the North Sea, but equally in rivers and. And that. In 1913, when she was 100, we, we took her up the Thames 
and went all the way up to Oxford. It, we just touched the bottom in Oxford, so it was great. So she's pretty versatile, but but an incredible sea boat. Did, did you buy her for a, for a cruiser or for a racer? A cruising boat, predominantly. Yeah, yeah, that was the plan. We, we use her as a family cruising boat. We've got two little girls, um, so the four of us sail uh, quite a lot. 